Okay, welcome back. We were just about to add the properties for our 20MA. Moving average, so we select 20. Let's add some more indicators. <coughs> Let's add a candle indicator and we'll call this SP500 for the S&P 500. Going to display that. Let's give it a dark green, and the properties are correct. Need to add the hiking moving. The sorry, the VWAP, as this is a VWAP strategy, and we'll display that in black. And there's no properties for that. <coughs> Let's add the hiking. Um, we won't display that. And there's no properties for that. Uh, what else should we add? Let's add the volume. And we'll display that as a subchart. And there's no properties for that. Let's add a average true range. We'll call that a TR-14. I'll display that as a subchart and the properties are 14. Okay, I think that's all we need for indicators, so let's save that. There we have it. Now let's add the strategy. As you can see, here's our new strategy. Uh, the first thing we'll do is add a default template. So we click on load template, and this just adds a blank strategy. Um, now I've already written this strategy and have it over here in Eclipse. I'm just going to copy it. Control A, Control C, Control A, Control V. You normally write these strategies in your own Java editor, and Eclipse is the one I use. And we have the comments. So this describes in English what the strategy actually does. So we stick that down here. Um, now we need to compile it to check the code compiles. And yes, it does, and then we can save it. And there's our strategy saved, ready to use. So now we can just go back to the contracts here. And if we switch all these strategies over to our new strategy, we actually have a feature over here that allows you to do it quickly that does from two strategies. So if we set it this the two to our new one and hit reassign, and yes, you can see it's changed all of these. And now if we disconnect, we can actually run the back. And you can see these actually turn yellow and green. They're updated every five seconds. Green means they're running and yellow means they're complete. Um, and in this case, you can see we've got different results in the status. We've still got two that were traded, but we have a dis different reason for them not being traded. So if we run over to the portfolio, you can see we made a little bit less and we lost on this. So this strategy didn't quite do as well as the previous one. As I said, you can click strategy, which will take you through to the chart and you can see where you bought and where you sold and all the trades. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, 